In our last video, we talked about what our triggers are. The hard thing is sometimes we don't know what those triggers can be. They just happen and we're just emotional out of nowhere. So this is an example I give a lot of my couples when I'm helping them process what their triggers are. It's called the red shirt example. So let's say Johnny is walking down the street and he gets beaten up maliciously by someone wearing a red shirt. It comes out of nowhere and he's in the hospital for it. Really dangerous. So now his brain is primed to anyone wearing a red shirt is now dangerous. And anytime he's around wearing someone wearing a red shirt, his physical arousal will go up, heart rate, blood pressure, anxiety levels will go up, but this will be subconscious. This won't be something he is aware that is happening. So let's fast forward. Now he's in his career. He just got done with a big project. He's called upstairs to talk to the boss. Like he's thinking, oh great, I've just got a promotion, super excited. He gets on the elevator to go upstairs, standing next to Bob from accounting who is wearing a red shirt. His physiological response goes up, his stress response goes up, and he starts to think, maybe maybe I'm not getting a promotion, maybe I'm gonna get fired. What am I gonna tell my wife? How am I gonna explain this? It, his anxiety creates a negative circumstance with his boss that could potentially get him fired or just create an awkward moment. However, if he knew red shirt is something that my body responds to because of that past experience, he then in the elevator can say, that's just bought from accounting, it's the red shirt, I'm okay. Deep breath, deep breath, all right, let's go into this meeting. And so what the important key here is when our physiological response goes up, when our trigger goes up, our body naturally tries to make meaning out of it by scanning the environment with the environmental cues. So if you're not careful, if you don't know what your triggers are, you'll create narratives to make your anxiety make sense. And it may not be what's really happening. So slow yourself down, start to know patterns of when is my anxiety levels highest and start to explore the why, because it may not be what you think.